Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Hello. So today we are heading into Windsor because we are actually doing something that we've wanted to do uh, for about a year and a half now. Yeah, the touristy thing. We wanted to go uh, to Windsor Castle. Yeah, so we're actually gonna, we've obviously been there a lot outside, yeah. but today we're actually gonna be doing the Windsor Castle tour yeah, because like it's the, reopened. The walk around and there's different exhibits and stuff. So we're actually gonna go inside, which yeah. is pretty cool. Uh, we've been to like a few, I've been to Hampton Court Palace, which I love. Never, I've always wanted yeah, to go you there. Yeah, wanted to go there. <laughs> I've been to Kensington Palace. Never. Uh, I've been to Buckingham Palace. Well, I've definitely not. I've definitely not done that. You performed in Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I did. Uh, that's a story for another time. Um, so yeah, I've done quite a few, but I'm really excited to finally get inside Windsor Castle. Yeah. And it's crazy because the Queen is actually there today. She is. I don't think. She... <laughs> not actually. We're not going to be. She's her. not going to be like sitting in one of the rooms doing a meet and greet. <laughs> but just she... behind a row. <laughs> Imagine. Like the Lego friends. <laughs> so let's go, and we will bring you along. Very exciting, we are inside. We're in. Uh, so it was really easy, we went through, uh, got tickets, went through security, which is obviously very strict. Kind of like it's, an airport security. Because it's Windsor Castle. <laughs> um, and then we're here, we're in. It's a really nice day as well now. Yeah, I've had to take my jacket off. <laughs> uh, so oh, sorry for the heavier bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks wonderful. It is huge, and up there is the flag that signifies that the Queen is actually here. Oh, crazy. It's very well maintained, like the gardens are beautiful. Yeah, there's signs <laughs> telling you to keep off the grass. <laughs> what film is that from? There's a film, oh it's Mary Poppins Returns, where the guys are always oh, like, yeah. keep off the grass. <laughs> Walking up this pathway that's right at the start, I noticed that there was something on the floor. But obviously yeah, I'm sticking to the don't go on the grass, so I couldn't cut across. I don't know if you can see it, gotta follow this around. This garden, garden was created <laughs> to commemorate the, the golden, golden jubilee. jubilee of Her Majesty Queen, Queen. Elizabeth <laughs> the Second in, in AD 2002. Two. <laughs> that was so long ago now, but... And then I think it's like the crest. So we think this is where all the cars were for the funeral. Yeah. So you can pick up a multimedia guide, which is like headphones, um, if you want something to listen to. It tells you like facts and history. We've decided not to today, but we might come back and do it another day. Mm. And then turn the corner. So we're going down here towards St George's Chapel and this is where a number of a number of royals are buried isn't it underneath yeah. I've always wanted to visit this chapel I don't think you can film yeah. inside those inside the chapel I think you might be able to go in Yeah It's actually so stunning I mean of course it was going to be Yeah It's amazing how beautiful the um, windows are. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice really. I mean, probably from inside, still have the colours, but even from outside you can see all the... The different detail. people and stuff. I was just saying, it's so surreal being here after the events of, of recently. And this is where the, there was a big screen up, wasn't there? And this is where the Queen walked in mm -hmm. for the funeral. Helena's in. She got hunchback of Notre Dame vibes because there's some gargoyles up there. <laughs> Look up there. That one on the that corner. Looks like, oh, that one in the corner, That's yeah. The there's a the one there looks a bit like a monkey holding a child. <laughs> Hello. 
just going to say I lost my bearings actually because I don't know where the stairs are where they all walked up. Yeah, we're not sure about that other place now. I might have been wrong. Yeah, um, but we are just going to go into the chapel but there's no photography or no video so we're going to put the camera away um, but we will let you know what it's like um, after. So we finished uh, going around St George's Chapel, definitely go in there. Um, it was quite surreal really to, to be in there knowing like the events that had gone on and then also mm -hmm. who was in tombs and, yeah, like and who knowing who's underneath. Yeah. Um, it's so, yeah like you said it's just like surreal actually. Yeah. It's beautiful in there as well. Um, it's probably one of the most stunning chapels mm. I've ever been in. Yeah. Um, stained glass windows are amazing and there's lots of like little areas to it as well. Yeah, and then something nice that we did, uh, Helena, you like to do this whenever you go into like oh, yeah. a cathedral, don't you? Um, or, a we, or a chapel. Uh, lit a candle. Yeah, we lit it to dedicate to everyone that would have been at the wedding. Um, had they not passed away, so we lit a candle for them, which yeah, is nice. Yeah, that was lovely, and especially to do it here. Yeah, and like leading up to the wedding now, uh, we're just thinking about all those people that would have been there, so yeah. it was nice to light that for them. Yeah, um, we actually think we might have done this the wrong way around. We think maybe the chapel, I don't know, I don't think there's a right way to do it, yeah. <laughs> but um, I think maybe a lot That's of people go in, though, yeah, there. a lot of people go in the chapel at the end, but we did it first. It's mainly because I didn't want to go all the way up the hill. Yeah, and also the shops and the toilets are this way, so I thought that was the end. Yeah. Um, but the exit is actually just here. So we're going to walk back on ourselves mm -hmm. and then do the other part. I think Queen Mary's Dollhouse is still closed. Closed, yeah. That hasn't opened yet. But I think, apart from that, everything else is open. Mm. It's been really nice. I've wanted to do this for so long. Yeah. It's a perfect day as well. It's beautiful. You spend ages here. Uh, that was the other thing. Once you come in, there's no set time. You don't oh, have yeah. to like, be out at a certain point. There's no time limit. So you can just take it at your leisure. We're in the shop. You can get lots of corgi stuff. <laughs> so, Christmas decorations. <laughs> oh, actually. If you want to know the history, here's a pretty impressive book. Whoa, how long would that take to read? <laughs> you can get a guardsman. We think they're Christmas this. decorations. Yeah, but they can be used as anything. You can get these miniature china teacups and saucers. You can get some marmalade, some jam, personalised spoons. I really, these are nice, I like them. You want some jam? Yeah. You can get some on the way out. Yeah, I'm sure they sell them in the other shop. Oh, these biscuits as well, they make nice gifts. Oh yeah. Caramel chocolate biscuits, raspberry, hazelnut. We spotted some fridge magnets and like this one. <laughs> There's different ones as well. You can get some finest leaf breakfast tea, Buckingham Palace tea bags. <laughs> We've got some jelly babies, licorice all sorts. I was drawn to this section because of like the colour of it. I love, I love the blue. That's nice. Um... You can get uh, this Buckingham Palace gin as well. There's the miniature tea set again, or a full size. We had tons of stuff in that shop. That was a good shop. Yeah. I think I overheard her say that was the biggest shop. Yeah. Um, so if you're wanting the one with the most it's near um, the front. in, that was it called the Middle Ward. We're at a crossroads. <laughs> so, billiard room. Going through the North Terrace. 
Oh, ice cream. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that view. Oh, wow. Helena straight for the nice view. It's nice. I think, is that Eaton? That must be Eaton. Over there. You can see a bit of the Thames. There's the river. Yeah. So, train stations here. Uh, so that's the Riverside train station. Mm -hmm. And then, is that the boat? Boatman? Is that the pub that's on the other side? And then the River Thames, and then Eaton's over there. There's loads of cool views up here. Because obviously being a castle, it's got to be high up to defend itself. So weird having that as a backdrop, <laughs> but what a backdrop. Um, if you want like sit down, we haven't found the cafe yet, but if you come round to the North Terrace bit, there's loads of chairs, loads of seats along here, and then you've just got brilliant views as well. Nice and relaxing. Right, we're about to go in here. Don't really know what this is. We're just in the cafe. Look at the seat. <laughs> and? Oh. This was a pricey it was. <laughs> little cafe stop. <laughs> um, but we got some dash sparkling water, raspberry and lemon. Uh, Helena got cream tea. And then I got a latte. So there was a scone. Yeah, scone and tea was part of a package. Yes. I said to Helena, to save money, we'll share the scone, but I don't think Helena's up for that. No, you said you get the um, cream tea and I'll just have the latte. You didn't specify that you wanted half. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to offer. <laughs> Just laughing <laughs> because Martin just turned to me and said, "Oh, we don't have very many days off um, this month together, so <laughs> not really going to be doing much." And I was like, "Apart from getting married." <laughs> I meant, I meant financially wise in terms of like going out on day trips. <laughs> just that little. The wedding's separate. That little thing that's happening this month. <laughs> the wedding's a separate entity. <laughs> it made me laugh, so I wanted to share it with you all. Just doing a bit of sneaky filming because they said you you can't really film inside, but maybe that's different for the cafe. the cafe. But I'm just being sneaky anyway. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. There's a lot of this has reminded us of Hogwarts. Yeah, it does have a Hogwarts vibe. <laughs> so here's a bit of a better look. See what I mean about Hogwarts? <laughs> the North Terrace entrance. I actually don't know what that bit was called. But it's it had called North Terrace and it has the stately apartments. State rooms, that's right, yeah. Um loads and loads of different rooms. Yeah. You weren't allowed to film in majority of them. No, there was signs saying no photography. Uh, but it's really interesting to have a look around. Mm -hmm. um, you each saw, room like, was so different. Where the Queen would meet people. There was the, our, our favourite room was the Waterloo room. Oh yeah, which chamber. Was a Waterloo chamber, which is where they used to do pantomime. And they had like old style um, paintings of loads of different like fairy tale creatures. Yeah, that was really good. Um, which of course was our favourite room. But there was so many uh, like different styles of room mm -hmm. they all fit into different periods in history um, so really fascinating as you walk through but then there was one room we were looking out the window and in the main courtyard uh, we noticed some soldiers and we were stood there watching and then they came in and they closed the blinds very quickly she was like oh we need to close the blinds and we were like hmm. something happening is someone they didn't arriving want us or... watching out the window <laughs> so we were like hmm interesting mm. but we're gonna go back around and I think there's another section we can still go in. There's so much to explore. 
Well, we haven't walked up to the top yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have a little look. Because the North Terrace was... Just to walk around. Yeah. The North Terrace, we, we stopped like halfway, didn't we? Mm. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there's loads, loads to explore. And it's like, what time do we come in? About mid... No. Half... About half twelve, one? Or one o'clock, maybe it was. Something like that. But it, it is coming up to 20 to 4. Oh. So nearly three hours. Yeah, it's been lovely. And also nice to have a little pit stop and have a scone. <laughs> Helena did share the scone in the end. <laughs> I did, I was kind. <laughs> Just come over back to this area because we didn't get a picture before. And I think that's the one to keep. And then just also to mention, they had an exhibit which was on, which was all to do with Prince Philip. And they had stuff that he'd worn, mm. like during the coronation, uh, trips abroad. They had things that he'd been given. My favourite part was they had a uh, like a calendar diary, which was his diary. When mm. was it? A while ago. Well, it was 1953. And uh, it even had coronation in it, ascot. And yeah. like a few other things. It, it was, was just crazy that that was his diary. It was open at the page. Uh, it said that they got them every year, mm. obviously because of the calendar. Um, and it was his handwriting and it, yeah, it had coronation written across it. And so he also just... took a trip to Scotland. Said yeah, Scotland for had a Scotland. Week. It had Ascot in it. But that's just standard, isn't it, in your calendar? Coronation. <laughs> Helena couldn't help it though, so you just saw coronation. It's coronation day! Coronation day! <laughs> so we're going to come out of the North Terrace and we're going to go left, we think. We're not allowed to go up there to the left because there is something going on. There guys. is definitely something happening. They're not said. wanting us to know though. We'll have to try and Google. We keep asking <laughs> questions and they're like, no, it's just closed. Yeah, it's just closed. <laughs> <laughs> they're keeping all the cards close to their chests. So we'll Someone have to come very back. Very important. I it was feel. the it was the billiard room was up there. Yeah. So we'll definitely have to come back. We'll have to do that, and then there's not enough room for the doll's house. Yeah, the That's doll's why they've house. got it closed at the moment. So hopefully we can get that done at some point. Yeah, and I'd also like to come back and do the guide. Yeah. Um, it's quite nice today just to like walk around, but I'd like to come back and do the guide. Get a bit more info. Walking back down where St George's Chapel is, but I believe people are living in these houses. Martin's jealous. How would you get one of them? I think you have to work <laughs> for the castle. You have to get a job here, I think, and then you can live in there. have loads of little post boxes around and um, I just think it'd be really cute if you were sending out like wedding invites or something I don't know if they stamp it that it's from Windsor Castle and um, but it'd be really nice to send them from here so we found the stairs um, that we used uh, when we watched the funeral this is the stairs that everyone went up into the chapel did a bit of digging, <laughs> a bit of research, and on Twitter I found out that the Queen was going to the Royal Windsor Horse Show this morning, mm -hmm. <laughs> checking with the Queen, this with Martin, <laughs> uh, and then this afternoon was meeting the German Chancellor. So that's why I think they like closed off everything. Yeah, so we think it was to do with that. I think if we had been there for like a second longer we would have seen the queen somebody we swear we heard somebody say i was they happy saw the queen they said we were happy enough seeing the corgis and then we saw the queen yeah like where was that <laughs> we were so close i think so we're now going towards the exit king henry the eighth gate so what you didn't see in that vlog <laughs> is that martin accidentally walked into one of the poles and we are heading now to the exit Ooh, ow. Um, so we quickly vacated the area before we got towed off. I, I knocked it quite far out the ground, it was leaning. <laughs> it's fine, they'll be able to fix it, but we were like, oh, vacate. <laughs> um, so now we're just headed down Windsor High Street. But I was actually thinking of filming a video all about things to do in Windsor, um, maybe like suggesting a few of our favourite cafes and places to eat. Um, so if anyone's interested in that, because I know it's a very popular staycation destination, so I thought it might be quite nice to film a little like what to do in Windsor. Let me know. So we're back at the flat. Yes, I'm back in my pajamas because when I get in, 
pajamas go on. Gotta be cozy. I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit tired though. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. It's actually really sunny as well. Yeah, I we made like them. I'm a bit sleepy from the sun. We made the mistake of not taking any water with us. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just having a big glass yeah, of water now. Yeah, I'm drinking quite a bit of water now. So I think I'm a bit tired from the sun because it got oh. really sunny at one point. <laughs> Mid gulp. <laughs> um, but we went to the gift shop. Before we exited, we nearly bought a Christmas decoration, but we're thinking if we go later in the year. Yeah, we're thinking we might go again and do the guide. So if no. we do that, we'll get a Christmas decoration because it'll probably be closer to the end of the year. But I did get something. <laughs> um, this is a special thing they were doing. Uh, this is the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, 1921, 2021 centenary ale. Ooh. Traditional bitter. Now, I'm one for trying different beers and different ales, so... I thought I would get that and have That's that nice, this evening. Actually. Should be served at 12 degrees. <laughs> How are you going to know? Little, little thermometer. Little thermometer yeah. <laughs> but we think we're just going to chill tonight, watch Raya mm -hmm. and the Lost Dragon. Last Dragon? Lost Dragon? I don't know. Um, I've been calling it right. Watch that on Disney Plus. We watched Luca the other day and loved it. Love Luca. So good. Um, I've heard mixed things where people have said that it's not their favourite. This Raya or Luca? No, Luca. But I have to say, it's, it's right up there for me. It's I really, really loved good. it. I got more and more into it as it went along. I really liked it. Really, really enjoyed it. And uh, definitely watch it again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to chill. And then it's actually my hen do this weekend, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog. I think it's going to be too difficult. Yeah, no. Because um, you want to just enjoy it. It's you? a surprise. So I have no idea like what's actually happening. And also, I just want to chat to everyone and I think it'll be too difficult to um, yeah. vlog it. You also don't know who who, who won't want to exactly. be in a video as well. So. But what I'm thinking of doing is in the next vlog we film, I will of course do a little story time and let you know exactly what happened, share some photos because I'm sure there'll be loads of photos and yeah let you know let you know how it goes but i'm mm -hmm. excited uh i'm looking to get back also just throwing this out there i'm looking to get back to legoland okay. uh to try and catch the pirate show because i was a bit good that we missed that the, uh, other, the day. other day but it was just because it was because of the rain it was uh it was so heavy yeah but yeah hoping to get back and then i also want to go around miniland and pick up not pick up but go and see all the different <laughs> mythical creatures they've them. put in <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you've got quite a few fun vlogs coming your way in the mm -hmm. next few weeks and yeah. then it's all just gearing up gearing up to the wedding which is crazy yeah it'll soon be <laughs> upon us and hopefully you know we'll have an update quite soon yes. as to uh, what's gonna go on yeah fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Yes. Bye. Toodle Pipski.